Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We recently visited Folly Beach and we stayed at this really cool Airbnb so I thought that I would give you guys an Airbnb tour and a review of the house that we stayed at. The house is called The Island Girl and we booked it through Airbnb. Folly Beach is one of our favorite places to visit during the summer and this year we decided to take a Mother's Day trip with our girls so that they could enjoy the beach and so the reason we chose this house is because like I said previously we have two small daughters they're both actually still toddlers and we wanted to have enough room for them to roam and run freely um, unfortunately when we stay at hotels the girls become a little bit restless and they're just very uncomfortable and very unhappy so having the whole house to ourselves made the vacation so much easier and so much more pleasant. The house had a decent sized kitchen and it was fully stocked with all of the cooking necessities. Uh, we actually prefer to eat in because our kids are so small right now that going out to eat isn't really the best thing to do with them being so small. So we try to only go out to eat once a day and then the other two meals I made in the home. And so the fact that the kitchen was fully stocked made it so much easier. Um, the one downside was that the dishwasher was broke so I did have to do dishes on vacation. Um, but other than that, uh, we had an overall pretty good experience. They stocked up towels for us and they had all of the soaps and shampoos available even though we brought our own. They also had detergent already there um, so we were able to use that and uh, wash our clothes and that way we didn't have to track any sand back with us home. The house had three full bedrooms. Arabella slept in the mermaid bedroom. Penelope slept in the pink bedroom because it had the most space for her pack and play. And then Andrew and I slept in the master because it had the king size bed. The house is one and a half bath with the full bath being upstairs. The bath was nice and spacious, gave us enough room to spread out and take a shower comfortably. The house also included a great outdoor space that was fully fenced in, which gave us tons of peace of mind so that the girls could go out there and play freely while Andrew was grilling. Um, we didn't have to worry about them running into the street. There was also a fully screened in porch underneath this deck. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of it, but if you check out the address on Airbnb, you will see pictures. The proximity to the beach was also a huge selling point on why we decided on this house. That's where we're staying. That's our car right there. That right there. And so you can actually walk to the beach. There's the beach right there. It's right around the corner. It's a super fast walk. There's the beach. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and check out my vacation vlog that will be posted here soon. Um, and I hope that you guys will consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.